If you are someone who is not using an iOS device, you might have faced the issue of lagging, facing up very bad performance to even frequent unwanted reboots. And that doesn't mean an iPhone can't get laggy, but comparatively, the Android phones are the ones who showcases these issues, and all this has to deal with Android RAM management. And that is what we are going to talk about. So if you are someone who is facing a very bad performance with your Android device, then this video is for you. And after watching this video, if you did find it informative, please do subscribe and hit that thumbs up button, it will mean a lot. So hey guys, once again my name is Neville, you are watching this on Neville Studios and without no further ado, let's move on with the video. Starting off with you need to know what is Android RAM and why does it lags you down. But I am not going to bore you guys with the technicalities as I have made a very dedicated video about the same. You can find the links to the same in the description. So let's look on how to make your phone faster. I have made this video into two segments starting off with wrong practices to myths and frequently asked questions. Starting off with the wrong practices people follow which they might think that helps their phone to boost its performance but it's doing the very opposite. Closing all the recent apps. Most of us out there are people who clears out the recent apps tab very often. I have seen people addicted to do the same and to be frank I was one among them. So what you are saying clearing recent apps are not going to boost your performance? The answer is a yes and a no. Have you ever noticed opening up an app for the first time is a bit more time consuming rather than pulling it out from the recents. And the reason is it's still running in the background. So the apps you use the most should never get cleared from the recents because you are going to frequently open the same. And it takes a much more effort for the android ram to start the application all around again. While on the other hand, applications that you use very less often and those which requires high memory efficiency, like the games, apps that use camera for example snapchat are better to be closed frequently, because they might use a lot more of the ram space when compared to other minimal applications. For example, if you are closing your whatsapp now and then from the reasons for no reason and someone texts you, the ram has to put in a much more effort to start the application and send you a notification. But if it was open in the recents, it would have been much more easily dealt with. So all you have to do is get to know your apps and try to figure out which one needs to be cleared after use and which one should rest peacefully in the recent apps list. Make a habit and you'll thank me later. And this doesn't mean you shouldn't clear your recent apps list but do it very less often like once or twice in a week. And another wrong practice is restarting your device when it feels laggy or to be more exact wrong method of restarting. So if you have been following the proper recent app management and still your phone gets laggy, the only option remaining is to restart the same. But you have to do something before restarting. So have you ever noticed when you restart your phone, in most of the phones these days, you can see all the recently used apps before restart will still remain in your recents. And this makes it a really hard time for your device to start all these applications again and load them to the recents, which might result in a horrible booting up speed and performance. So what you should keep in mind is clear all the recent apps before the restart and this could help you to get rid of the bad performance or in other words lagginess. Wallpaper is a serious issue too. If you are using a live wallpaper, the chances that the battery and the RAM performance decreasing is quite normal. So if you are facing these issues on your device, try not to use live wallpapers. Please uninstall all the apps you think are unnecessary or the ones you might be keeping for a very limited occasions. Install those apps at the time you need and just uninstall them after the use. A completely filled up storage affects the RAM and at the same time a lot of these apps might be also running in the background and also have been given permissions for auto startup, which is definitely going to make your phone crawl. Turning off auto startup and doing a factory reset frequently on your device helps you to get rid of a lot of junk and at the same time makes your phone fresh as new. Install software updates. People think software updates take up space and might lag your phone. But to be honest, it doesn't take up space and might even free up space at rare occasions. Error fixes, newest security patch and better performance is what these software updates are gonna offer. So try installing all the software updates you're getting for your phone. A serious question that I reserve is does battery performance affect your phone's performance or does it make it laggy? And I'll give you a simple example. If you didn't have food for a day or two, can you work hard as you usually do? Or if you have a bad stomach, what will be the outcome of your body performance? The phone needs a good, proper, functional battery at the same time well managed with proper charging practices. 
If you would love to know the best charging methods, practices and myths about charging, I would love to make a dedicated video about the same. Let me know via the comment section. Another question that haunts people are does RAM management applications like RAM boosters, RAM cleaners etc really help out your device and to be honest around 80% of these apps doesn't. But you will be like but it does make my phone faster. I'll break this down for you. Most of these apps you find on play store are aimed to fool you, bug you with ads and make a good profit for themselves. What does this app do is while it's running on your phone, it uses a lot of your RAM space and makes your phone laggy. And when you click the clear button, it clears the RAM space that it has been using up along with some minimal RAM cleanup and hence fooling you to believe you have successfully boosted your RAM. I'm not claiming all the apps are the same but a vast majority of them are. If you're using an app, what you have to do is try uninstalling them and use your phone for a day or two and check the difference. On the other hand, if you have an inbuilt RAM cleaner in your phone provided by your phone manufacturers, that might actually work. So start using it other than installing third-party apps, seeing misleading ads or so. Does routing your device and installing a custom ROM increase your RAM performance? And I can guarantee you it does. As you can see, I'm using a Redmi K20 but you'll find a stock Android experience on my phone. And the reason is I'm using a custom ROM instead of a MIUI and to be honest, it's much more efficient, smooth, fast and the best battery performance you can ever find on this phone. Also, if you have a rooted device, you can use apps like Swapper for better memory configuration and to take control of RAM expansion. If you use Swapper, you can use a portion of your internal storage to act as a virtual RAM and making your device much more faster. If I talk more about this, this video is going to be far more lengthy. So if you're interested, let me know via the comments. I'll make a dedicated video if a lot of you guys are interested. So in overall, you should try to care your phone and treat it the best way possible and there is no doubt you'll find it work with better performance. If you have any more suggestions or tips you want to share with me, feel free to comment down. That's it guys for this video. Hope you liked it. If so, please share this video with your friends and family. Also, thanks for watching. Please do like this video and also subscribe if you're new here. Also click the bell button to get to us every single time we upload a video. Comment down your suggestions, we are always here and replying you. This channel is fully based on your support so please do show your love to the maximum. I put my heart and soul in making these videos so please do support us. This is me Neville, you are watching this on Neville Studios. Let you have an amazing time here. Signing out. Peace.